Hey guys. So I'm recording this prior to my match with Daytona. Um, so in week three, we got the Ta Daytona Colossals. Uh, as we can see here, they are rocking the uh, Infernape, the Gyarados, the Luxray, the Scyther, the Skuntank, the Abomasnow, the Needle Queen, the Mr. Mime, the Pyloswine, and finally the Gilade. Um, so I spent a good couple days running damage calculations and whatnot. Um, and just trying to figure out like a good team to bring to the match. Um, now I will say, these I'm the Phoenix Primal, so this is my, this was my list right here. But I will tell you that for this match there was some changes made because we did have a an opportunity to exchange some mods that were underperforming, you know, and bring in mods that could potentially do better. So I went ahead and I swapped the Cloister for another A tier Pokemon in Torkoal. To pair with this Charizard here, because Choice Spec Solar Power Charizard is a fucking nuke. And I also exchanged this Ludicolo here uh, for a Victory Bell, because having a Chlorophyll seems a bit more consistent than having a Swift Swimmer for the, you know, just for the two rain teams that we have here. Um, and then this Linoon is, assuming it gets approved. Because I don't know if someone else picked Kabutops or not. But if no one else picks Kabutops, I will be having a Kabutops in place of the Light Noon. Um, so with that being said, um, I went ahead and I ran a bunch of damage calculations here. Like, yeah, like I said, quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of text here. Uh, basically what I did is um, I decided on the Pokemon I was going to bring at the end of the day was Latios, Medicham, Shuckle, Torkoal, Charizard, and Victory Bell. Uh, so, those were the mods that I felt like would give me the most success. Um, and especially after running the damage calculations offensively, running the damage calculations uh, defensively. Uh, it just seemed like the best way to go. Um, so yeah, that'll be our squad. And the battle's about to start, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the Dragon's Den, I'm your host, Sin Dragonlord, and this is week three of the Pokemon Global Society Draft League Tournament. Uh, this time, we are up against the Daytona Colossals. Um, yes, the Daytona Colossals. Um, you can see their... Uh, if you look in the chat box, you can see their link there, just feel free to copy that over. Or it'll also be in the description down below. As well, my tw uh, as well my Twitch channel, which I would appreciate if you follow. As you can see, we're almost to our affiliate goal, so any love and support would be appreciated if you like the content that you are seeing. Um, so last week we went against a friend of the channel, Mr. Vlad the Man, and we unfortunately lost to a Choice Scarf Swallow. So it was big unfortunate, but that's just the name of the game sometimes. All right, so he's gonna lead with uh, Pile of Swine, and I'm gonna lead with Shuckle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my Stealth Rocks up, as he's going to go for the Blizzard and it misses, so that's important. That's uh, really good. Also, shout out to Developing Emma. Uh, I don't know if you are following my YouTube channel or not, but I appreciate the follow and I will give you a shout out next time I go live. Uh, so now I think we're going to go ahead and set up a sticky web just to add to the hazards. Blizzard does hit this time. And it does okay damage. Um, now I think we're going to go ahead and knock off whatever item this pile of swine has because the more knowledge we have, the better. Especially if we're going to go, especially when we go into game two. I want to know, I want to have as much knowledge going into game two as possible. All right, Pilot Swine goes for the Late Earthquake. And it has Never Melt Ice. Okay, so I'm not going to reveal that. I'll just keep that in, 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 as a mental note. It has Never Melt Ice. And then we're just going to fire off a Toxic. That way we can put this thing on a timer. Yes, we are completely revealing uh, our Shuffled Moveset, but that's... Totally fine. It's pretty... Honestly, a Shuffle moveset is pretty fucking predictable to begin with. So, it is what it is. Um, um, do I have anything that really wants to 
Not really, so are we just... Probably gonna want to go for Earthquake, right? Because it's it's basically guaranteed to hit. Um, I did not calc Blizzard damage on Latios because I wasn't expecting to switch Latios into a fucking Pylos line. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and sack the Chuckle. It's kind of already done its job, more or less. Yeah, it's a good thing I it's a good thing I didn't switch in the Latios to an Ice Fang. I'd rather not do that. Uh, like I said, we're just going to sack the Shuckle here. I could have switched to Latio. It's it's fine, though. It's totally fine. Shuckle did what it needed to do. Um, uh, Piloswine KOs Shuckle with Earthquake. Uh, five, six. Okay. Um... Go ahead and switch and shuckle now just to get the sun up. And I doubt we're faster than Pylos Y, but we're still gonna attempt to get a lava plume off anyway. Ooh, he switches. Okay. Switches into Gyarados. That's a, that's a good switch, for sure. That's a good switch. Uh, oh, Alright, and it is Intimidate, so that's really handy information to have. Um, which means Explosion will not do as much. Come on, get the burn, get the burn, get the burn, get the burn, get the burn. Yes, we got the burn! Fuck yeah. Ah, that was a good, that was, that was good. Um... I'm not really sure what I want to go into. Um, probably Medicham, to be honest. Okay, so let's see. He's He doesn't have anything outside of Mr. Mime that resists the high jump kick. So... Alright, so it's burned. And it... Uh, the sun is up, so that's not going to do hardly anything. Um, now the question is, what do I want to lock myself into? Um, how much does Fire Punch do to Gyarados? Fire Punch does... It does not actually... I did not count Fire Punch, but I think... That from that range it should KO. I don't want to lock myself into high jump kick with a with a Mr. Mind. Ah, right in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So it does KO from that range. KOs Gyarados with Fire Punch. Five five. Okay. Now what's he gonna bring in now? Now you guys may have noticed that. There have been some changes to my team, because before I did not reveal I had a Torkoal or a Victory Bell. Or a Charizard, even, for that matter. I always had the Charizard, I just never brought it, because I didn't have anything to abuse Sun with. But, we had, um... How much does Fire Punch do to Mr. Mime? Fire Punch always KOs Mr. Mime in the Sun. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use Fire Punch, then. Pow, right in the kitchen. Nice. KOs Mr. Mime with Fire Punch. Five, four. Alright, now we got this Infernape. Um, what is the damage calcs for Burn Nape? Um, I think we're going to switch into Latios.
Yeah, we're going to switch into Latios here. Because um, I'm pretty sure even uh, even in the Sun Flare Blitz won't KO me, and I'm faster than it, especially with Sticky Web Up. It basically guarantees. Oh, he's using Dig. Okay. Well, I got Levitate, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, it's. I, mean, I guess I'll just use Recover, right? There's really no point in using anything else. Not like it's gonna hit. Uh, we got the Levitate, so we don't have to worry about that. Go ahead and fire off a Psychic. Alright, he's switching out. What is he switching into? Luxray, okay. Uh, how much is Psychic going to do to this Luxray? Because I know I'm, I'm going to outspeed the Luxray, so I'm pretty sure this is a two-hit KO at least. At least. It's at least a two-hit KO. So we got Dual Intimidator, so that's good to know. Okay. Latios, KOs, Luxray with Psychic. Five, three... All right, now Scyther, Scyther's a bit of a, I'm, what is, Scyther's base speed is 105, right? So Latios is still faster. So yeah, there's no need to, there's no need to switch. I don't want to reveal Thunderbolt yet, and if anything, I would like to, yeah, I would like to keep as much of my moveset secret from him as possible, especially since Psychic will definitely KO from here. Latios, KOs, Scyther, with Psychic, 5-2. Alright, Sun's gone, so now I'm going to have to, if I want to bring in my Sun Sweepers, which are Charizard and Victory Bell, I'm going to have to get Torkoal back in there to use them to their maximum efficiency, but I think we're, um, I think we're okay. Because all we got left is this Pile of Swine here, and, uh... Infernape. And Latios can deal with those pretty hand. So pretty sure game one's gonna go to me. Latios KOs Piloswine with Psychic Five. One, then Latios, KOs, Infernape with a kick, five, oh, Primals win, five, oh, okay. And then we'll just finish it off with another Psychic. Okay, nice. Game two. Play with the same rules. So, I think we're just gonna go with the same lead uh, this time around. Uh, just cause getting up. Um, so the whole purpose of my team is, uh, is speed control and putting on offensive pressure. Um, so, and Shuckle really knows how to put on that pressure. So yeah, we're just going to go with the same lead, because I don't think anything on his team can really even two-shot uh, Shuckle. So, I'll, bare minimum, I'll still get off, um, bare minimum, I'm still going to get off both of my hazards. And outside of, uh, Pilot Swine, which I don't think he has any, uh, Hazards on his on his squad, um, yeah. I, I, and I didn't see Stealth Rock at all in the Pilot Swine, and I'm pretty sure that's the only thing. I guess Infernape could have Stealth Rock, 
Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much... Yeah. Um, go up and get up a Stealth Rock. How much does Waterfall do? This would be good to gauge. Yeah, it's not a 2-hit KO unless he flinches me. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll attempt to set up a Sticky Web. And if he does manage to flinch me, then I'll go ahead and switch. But I'll need... I might need Chuckle later to try to get those webs back up. No flinchy, no flinchy, no flinchy, no flinchy. Fuck. Okay. Uh... Go ahead and get uh, Betty Cham in here. Okay, how much this waterfall does. Ooh, that's some good damage. Huh? All right. Um. Ooh, I don't know if I want to lock myself into uh, Thunder Punch here. Does Zen Headbutt KO? Because he has Pilus Wine and. Which could be, which could be an issue. Um, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and we'll um, let's go ahead and just attempt the thunder punch. Okay, cool. Ah, right switch. in the kitchen. All right, nice. Um, Medicham. KOs Gyarados with Thunder Punch. Six, five. Here comes the Luxray. Um, and the Luxray is going to get an Intimidate off. Um, Honestly, I think I'm okay without Sticky Web for the rest of it. Let's try to let's try to conserve the Shuckle as much as possible. Let's just switch in Torkoal. I'm pretty sure Torkoal can take whatever moves that this thing wants to dish out. His defense stat is pretty fucking massive. Crunch. And that does fucking nothing. Okay. Um... Let's see, he still has Infernape, he has Pilus Wine, Scyther, Mr. Mime. Lava Plume is the best option. And he has Quick Claw. Okay. He goes for Thunder Wave, that's fine. My uh, fast as fuck boy is not as fast. <laughs> On Breakthrough Paralysis, very nice. Sun Boosted Lava Plume. Does not quite KO, but it does get the burn. Nice. And we'll just start off another Lava Plume. Fuck it. Those are Spark. That's not going to do anything either. Uh, Tor. Cole. KOs. Luxray. With... Lava Plume, 6, 4. Okay, here comes the Infernape. Um, he revealed that he had Dig. So, I'm curious to know if that's what he's going to want to opt to go for. And if so, uh, if he goes for the Dig, that's a free switch to Charizard with several turns of Sun remaining. So, let's go for another Lava Plume, and we'll see if that's what he does. Yep, that's what he does. So, I have a free switch to Charizard now, because Ball of Flying type, and then we can probably get a sweep going with Charizard, to be honest with you. Ooh, actually, maybe not, because Infernape is definitely faster than, uh... Stars are here. I forgot Sticky Web wasn't up. That's what I... Yeah, I totally forgot about that. So in this case, 
he might be able to knock out Ace. Air Slash. Oh no, Charizard's faster, so he must not have max speed or something. Um, Charizard KOs Infernape with Air Slash. 6-3. And I'm Specs, so I'll be using Air Slash for the remainder of the game, basically. Alright, so here comes Mr. Mime. Um, what is, uh... What is his, what's the damage calcs on Mr. Mime here? Um... Do I not have damage calcs for Mr. Mime? Oh wait, here we go. Uh, if rocks are up, it, uh, air slash KO is 63% of the time after rocks. So honestly, not feeling that. Um, but to be honest with you, nothing else really wants to come in on that. So we're just gonna go ahead and just air slash again, I guess. Cause yeah, I don't want really anything taking a, like a sidekick or anything. And we got the 63%, so that, that works. Charizard KOs Mr. Mime with Air Slash. 6-2. Here comes the Pile of Swine. Where the damage calcs were Pile of Swine. Um, Air Slash is a guaranteed Oko after rocks. So, here we go. Charizard KOs Hilo Swine with Air Slash. And then the last one is Scyther. And after Rocks, it, after getting obliterated by Rocks, Air Slash will definitely take it out. And I don't think that uh, Scyther can kill me in return. The Scyther should be faster than me. Uh, because base 105, unless it's adamant, but. It, it's definitely adamant then. Okay, well, that is the game. That is the end of week three. Uh, let me just type this in real quick. Primal. Okay, well, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe uh, to this channel, as well as follow me on twitch.tv slash the Dragonlord, and please, please show my opponent some love as well. Uh, the real Pokemon Joe on YouTube. Alright, thanks guys, and have a great rest of your day.